Hey guys, in today's interior real estate photography tutorial, today we're going to be talking about why I use the natural light method when I'm using my flambient uh, process and why I shoot with lights off. Here's a prime example. This was basically a three room shoot and I was able to pull it off with basically just two images plus that ambient layer just to blend back in natural light. But because this room right here in the back had a huge bay window in the back of it lighting this all up you could see like the staircase the shadows from the staircase so really what i did was i um brought the exposure down to where this room was lit like this and then i popped my flash to light the room and this was my flash shot so i didn't have to run in here to light this but if for example if this room was lit with you know tungsten lighting then I would have had to have come over here and lit this and then light this room also and light this so when you're lighting rooms using the the lights in the house lamps ceiling fans that type of light fixture where there's a lot of orange yellow tungsten lighting you're gonna have to overpower that somehow if you're using the flambeat method and the other thing that I found that you don't have to worry about the lamps or light fixtures, ceiling or lamps or whatever causing hot spots in your images because that will be another another issue. So I love just shooting natural light. It makes the co uh, color correction and white balancing so much easier. Uh, so this is what I did. I just brought this image. This is the ambient layer. This is the flash pop above the camera. And then I did a flash pop in this room. And we're just gonna select all these, bring them in to Photoshop. All right, once your layers have been loaded into Photoshop, we're gonna toggle that ambient layer off. And this is what I love to do. You run in here and do a flash pop to light this room. You only need one flash for this method. Bring that layer up just underneath the ambient layer and then turn that to lighten mode. So look what that did. That made that, it basically just hit the switch and turned on and used just the bright parts of that image. And then we can take and turn our ambient layer back on. And a lot of times I like to take and drop this at 50% if there's no shadows or anything that I need to uh, worry about. But we can toggle that on and off. And that brings back in a lot of ambient. And see, normally without the, with lights on, we would have to expose for the brightest parts in the scene for our flash layer and in this case we the room was being evenly lit by a humongous softbox called the window <laughs> so that's why I love shooting with lights off so let's take and change this to luminosity just to see and that did clean it up a little bit so let's do this let's flatten this image command s to save it bringing it back into Lightroom and we're gonna do our interior final bump right there and maybe tone that down a little bit. I'm gonna adjust my black slider. And this is just a preset I've created. So there you go, there's a the final image. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you're a lights off gang type of shooter or do you prefer all lights on and are you flambient, HDR, what, what is it? Let us know in the comments and let us know your style. Thanks for watching guys.